This is dangerous right here. Oh! There we go. Oh god! Oh my god! That's... Mm, yes, sir. All right, we're gonna switch this up. I mean, oh, that's like a regular crawl, right? I didn't even fish. Oh, let's go. What's up guys, it's TJ, AKA Fishing with Yak Pack. I'm here today in a random parking lot because it's very sunny right now, so I had to find some shade to make this video, but uh, we're just gonna jump right into it. What we have here is a $1,000 mystery box that the Guggen Squad themselves decided to send me. So without further ado, we're gonna bust this bad boy wide open. I've already taken a sneak peek, okay? I've got I've got Trey here with me as well. I've already, we've already kind of gandered off. Gandered, is that a word, gandered? We've gandered off into the distance of the glorious box of Guggen baits. But the goal is to go out yonder way to uh, to the lake and uh, catch some mega bass today in this video uh, with these lures right here. So with that being said, let's uh, let's bounce, let's bounce, let's jump, let's jump, let's bounce, let's do whatever we gotta do. I need another sip of energy drink. That's what I really need. First things first, we've got some Guggen Squad and in collaboration with Bass Mafia, we've got some money bags right here. And uh, actually, I think these are more so used for like soft plastic and stuff. The, the little, I'll definitely use these in my kayak, but the pond hopping bag that I have, these just, I mean, they're a little big for that. But I also think, if I'm not mistaken, if you were to throw like some crankbaits or, or like even jigs for that matter in this box or in this bag, I should say, uh, I don't think it would tear. It wouldn't tear, would it, Trey? You don't think it would tear? No. I, don't, I don't think it's, I think it's designed to not like get holes and stuff in it. I could be wrong about that, but I'm, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure I'm right. Could be wrong, pretty sure I'm right. All right, 20 pound braid, you guys know? I love me some 20 pound braid. They sent a whole variety of, uh, of fishing line. 10 pound fluorocarbon. What do we got? Where's the, I'm gonna, I wanna, I don't know how I wanna do this. I kinda just wanna pull stuff out and just, oh, there we go right here. I need to line a reel up with that ASAP. 15 pound fluorocarbon. I made a video actually on this braid. I made a video last summer, I believe, when they first released this stuff. And uh, I went out and caught like just absolute megas on it. I'll leave that link down in the description if you guys want to check it out. Also, another link that will be down in the description is uh, Yak Pack. Code Yak Pack on GuggenSquad.com will save you 15% on anything on the website. Anything at all, 15%. And who doesn't like to save money? We've got some more. Now nah, we're talking. That's my style right there. 65 pound braid. That's what I fish on my drop shots. This is going to be my go to lure today. The, uh, the clickbait. I haven't actually fished one of these yet, and I've been very excited to do so. This is also in the 3 8 uh, the 3 8 ounce clickbait, and that thing looks freaking sauce. I've actually seen a whole bunch of people catch uh, really big fish on these clickbaits as of recent, so we've got a couple of colors. I think I might have a red one in here too. I think I saw a red one. I don't remember. I'll, we'll come, we will come to that. We will. I'm sure we'll find it. Oh, look. My newest Favorite Guggen bait, newest favorite Guggen bait, hundred percent, hands down, without a doubt, no questions asked. The seven point two five inch Mondo worm, and this one is in the blue flake, and uh, maybe in here I also have a uh, black and blue flake because that is my absolute favorite. Everything, everything, salt plastic black with blue flake. That's literally it. Doesn't get any better than that. Anywhere you go in the country, it doesn't get better than that. But the seven point two five inch or seven and a quarter, whatever you want to call it, these things. Uh, if there were to ever be the perfect curly tail worm, in my opinion, that's it. Changed my mind. This, there's no better curly tail worm in the in the world. Changed my mind. Oh, you guys know the deal. What's coming up? It's coming up for the majority of the country. For people that are like super far up north, probably not going to happen for you for a, quite a while, probably till summer. <laughs> but uh, spawning season, bed fishing season's coming up. All white on those beds. Oh my goodness, the bandito bug too. I would eat. I should pull one of these out and eat it right now. That's how you. Oh. Found it. This is what I was looking for. The uh, the fire crawl clickbait. This thing is. Uh, I've seen a lot of pictures on uh, Instagram, especially of people that have been catching big fish on this. And I myself, I think it's my turn to catch a big fish on this. So we're definitely going to be throwing this today. I'm going to throw the black and blue one and the red one. We're going to. I tell you what we'll do. We're going to create a little pile right here of the lures that we are 100% going to throw today uh, and try to catch fish maybe on each lure, every single lure. Uh, that would be insane to try to catch a fish on every single lure in this box right here. If we get this video to 3,000 likes, I will go out and try that. I think that will take me a very, very long time to accomplish, but uh, 3,000 likes on this video, and we'll give it a shot. The frogs, look at that. This is the uh, the popping filthy frog. Now, I like popping frogs better than I like regular walking frogs, and right here, here you go. 
Now, obviously, I like both of these, but I like the popping one the most, and the reason is you can't pop these, right? You can't create that like water displacement like you can with a uh, with a popping frog, and uh, that's why I like these. Another reason I really like these more is they make these things childproof, and I can't open them. Oh yeah, just tear it, tear it up, TJ. Just tear the whole thing up. I don't know of another frog personally. Uh, I've not used another frog that has as tough of a body. As, uh, as these right here and we we put these to the test me and I think it might have been me and uh, I, can't, I can't remember who I was with but anyways about February March last year the topwater bite was absolutely insane and we put these things to the test uh, with uh, snakeheads here in South Florida and if you don't know what a snakehead is a bullseye snakehead uh, they're super super invasive one of the most aggressive fish in South Florida uh, and they absolutely murder topwater frogs so we sat out on a mission to see how many of those snakeheads we could catch in one day on one single frog. And I think it was like 30 something, I think 36, I believe, 36 single, 36 snakeheads on uh, one single frog. And even after catching 36 snakeheads on like one single frog, there were still no issues with it. That was just like time permitting in, in the time throughout the day, uh, 36 snakeheads, one single frog frog and and those snakeheads are going to do more damage to a frog than any largemouth bass like without a doubt it's hard to explain it if you've never experienced it but i promise you guys just hit me up tell you what just hit me up if you come down to south florida and i'll put you on some snakeheads but look at that the googans know me well they sent me two they sent me two two of the popping frogs gotta love it I actually might try to catch some on this one today too we'll put this one in this power right all right let's see what else we got all right trey check it out we're gonna switch this up really quick since, uh, since I've got a couple of lures already picked out, this is what I want you to do. I want you to go through there and I want you to pick out what you're gonna use today, right? Trey is a seven time national champion colle collegiate bass fisherman. He used to fish for the University of Georgia. He caught too many fish, they kicked him out. So then he went and fished for uh, like North Carolina State or something, I don't know. For those that don't know, Trey has uh, an extensive amount of tournament fishing experience and, and I am, uh, I got the, uh, I got the old Lamborghinis here, so I'm more so a pond fisherman myself. So Trey is gonna pick out, I don't know, like three or four things, whatever, whatever you see fit, how, whatever you think. It's it's a nice day today. Just pick you some lures, and that's what you're gonna fish with today. First, I'm gonna go with the swim jig because Ooh. I mean, it's hard, oh. to, it's hard to deny a uh, swim jig and grass. I mean, that's just one of the best bites. We of do all be time. living in South Florida where the grass is, is is prominent. So I'm gonna put that right here and i'm gonna put a white bandito bug on the back of that swim jig i actually Ooh. like a crawl better than a swim bait in grass very interesting because i never would have thought to put a a crawl style trailer on a swim jig or even a chatterbait for that matter so i might try that with that chatterbait today the next store i'm picking out is this half ounce green pumpkin clickbait Ooh. hadn't thrown one of these yet i'm pretty excited to you know yeah give it, give it a little test yeah gas. same same here it looks like we're gonna be throwing a lot of clickbaits today well we got a the black and blue one the fire crawl and the green pumpkin that one actually i think if i don't know i love black and blue but i think that one might be the uh that one might be the one that's the sauce yeah that might be the one are you gonna trailer that or are you just gonna throw it as is no nah, definitely I'll, definitely gonna put a trailer on a lot of times i throw i throw them without let me know down in the comments if you guys throw your clickbaits or chatterbait style lures with or without a trailer i actually I don't really throw mine with trailers that all. I would say it's 50-50. Like, I wouldn't be pressed. If I didn't have a trailer on a on my clickbait or my chatterbait, I would not be pressed so, at all. I can't throw one without one. Really? No. I would no, it doesn't, it literally does not matter to me. I can throw it with or without. It does not make a difference to me. We are not even putting a dent in the amount of fishing lures that we have in this freaking. Oh wow. A little juicy. That sauce. That looks good. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm talking about right there. The gridiron football jig, the three quarter ounce. That's my style right there. What are we going to go with? I want, dude, there's just so much stuff. I literally, I don't even know if I have enough time in this video to cover it all. Like there's just so much stuff, dude. Thank you to the Googans for sending me all this stuff. Thank you so much. What do you, what do you, what is that? Rattling chunks. Oh, that's gas. Listen to this. Name somebody else that is putting uh, rattles inside of soft plastics. We've got uh, a whole bunch of fishing lures picked out for today's video. We've got this giant box right here, slap full of Guggen baits, and uh, it would take me an hour to pull all these out and go over every single one of them. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna skip doing the rest of that and we're gonna get to fishing because I am itching right now to put these clickbaits to the test. Uh, because I, like I said, have not fished these clickbaits before and I wanna see, I wanna see what they're capable of. So uh, we're gonna do that. 
hopefully they're biting chatterbaits right now. I don't know. I have no idea what the bite's going to be, but we're going to go find out. Let's strap the GoPro on and let's get to fishing. Oh. First fish of the day comes on. A giant on the swim jig. That is a South Florida stud right there. I'm going to tell you what. That's a YouTube like <laughs> three pounder. That's a YouTube it? three pounder. Hey, the, the good thing about catching fish like that, though, is you can only go up. You can only, can only go up from here. That's Bro, I'd love to put a kayak in here and just... Go. Yeah, fish that whole bank. Oh, no. Fish that whole bank right there. Oh. Oh. Hello. I watched you eat it. That was cool. <laughs> that was dope. Yeah, that was sick. Right as I walked up. What is that? Two on the uh, two on the on swim jig. Swim jig. Did go. you want it? I think you wanted it. We're at spot number four. And uh, it's actually it's not just kind of cooled off out here. It's 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 cold. Like it's 65 degrees. I know that kind of sounds crazy to you guys, <laughs> but with it being 85 degrees here in the wintertime, when it drops down to 65 it's pretty cold so the water's cold right now too i don't know if that's got anything to do with the, the way the fish are biting other than that the conditions are great minus the cold water and cold weather there we go oh god oh my god that's Jeez. there we go there we go let's go let's go baby he hit it right as i was pulling it out of that freaking grass there we go. Right as I was pulling it out of the grass. Please don't shake. Ooh. This is dangerous right here. Look how he freaking, he grabbed it from behind. Whew. There we go. myself again oh my god dude oh oh Ooh, that hurts so bad that went so deep ah that's not good oh god that is not good okay mm. I have cut myself in two places. Do I have anything? And of course I have nothing to get any of the blood off. We're gonna switch it up to some of these seven and a quarter inch mondo worms because I've been getting my ass kicked all day on this lipless crankbait. I've cut myself like seven times on this thing. That's hurt man i got double hooked too i went to pick the the fish up off the ground yeah and it was the 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 crankbait was stuck right here in like a piece of uh, like hard grass yeah. and i just lifted my finger right up in it Ow. god dog that hurt that hurt worse than the freaking when Peric hooked me dude well i did just catch that fish though ripping it through the ripping it through the grass so maybe that's maybe that's where they're at that'll like give you like that jolt of that rush of adrenaline or something like that just I'm done bro I break my neck out here fishing in this bum ass what a day why you let me bust your bro I don't want to hear it all right I've been hooked I broke a rod I broke my hip <laughs> I don't want to hear it. You have caught like what three to my one though? Are you caught one? I caught one on the on the clutch. I caught one on. The... Yeah, you caught one on the clutch. Two. Two. Mm, yes, sir. No, you didn't. Two. Did you just call that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, you did. Get him. Or is that grass or is that a fish? Please be a fish. It is a fish. <laughs> Dude, that's a fish. You just called that. <laughs> Bro, where'd my worm go? It's in the grass well i don't know what is up today i think it's probably because yesterday it was 86 86 degrees and today it's 65 degrees there's another fish out there well not 
not the size we're looking for but hey small fish are better than no fish right all right we're gonna switch this up to the uh the rattle and chunk here i don't really know if you're supposed to fish these like a regular texas rig but uh that's exactly how i'm gonna fish it i guess i mean oh that's like a regular crawl right texas rig crawl they don't look the best but i mean i'd eat it yeah i'd eat it if i was a fish i'd damn sure eat it well, high key though i think these uh rattle and chunks are gonna be pretty freaking sauced pretty sauced let that sink to the bottom all the way hold up is that grass nope oh let's go let's go first flip look at it first flip first flip out there oh get out of the grass get out of the grass first flip let's go first flip with the rattle and chunk oh let's go dude look at the size of this thing first flip with the rattle and chunk that's a thick boy that is a thick boy if i ever seen one yes sir dude let's freaking go literally first freaking flip with the rattle and chunk dude that's the first time i ever that's actually the first time i ever threw the rattle and chunk first time i ever threw that bait freaking awesome that is a thick boy if i ever seen one my man's starting to eat good all right well uh say what's up to youtube and we'll catch you next time all right ladies and gents that's gonna bring this video to a close Trey and i have made it back to the house now and uh, unfortunately no freaking fat as ao would call them no fat sallies wanted to uh, come out and play today but i think it was due to the uh today's the first day of the uh the cold front that we have moved through this week here in uh, south florida it's, it literally yesterday was like 86 i think was the high and today's high was 70 or 71 maybe and uh, or maybe 68 or something i don't know something it's like super low way lower than 85 so i think that kind of really turned them off but thank you again for watching i greatly appreciate all the love and all the support don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new don't forget to use code yak pack on goodensquad.com hit the video with a thumbs up thanks again for watching we'll catch y'all next video peace